guys, happy March. I am just about to head to dinner. We're going to get sushi with Reese, Vic, and their husbands and fiance. Ah, it's so weird to say Reese has a husband because a fiance and I have a boyfriend. Uh, but Ty went to go pick up Miyoko because she just went to get her grooming today. She was looking like a hot mess, so it was time to get her snipped all over. So she's gonna look fresh as fuck. Mia! <gasps> look at mommy! Oh my gosh, you look so cute! You look so round! You look so round and cute, baby. Oh, your tear stains are so bad, Mia. We gotta change you to eat something else. Yay, we're at sushi now. Oh, I just realized you guys are wearing like really comfy, bright sweaters. I'm wearing pink for once in my life. This is the most color. <laughs> Calling them out. <laughs> I was saying earlier, like I was vlogging and I was like, oh, like it's gonna be me, Vic, Reese, and our boyfriends. I'm like, wait, no, it's husband, Beyonce, and I'm the only one with the boyfriend. <laughs> I'm like, shit, we're good to go. Oh, I was just saying because earlier. Uh, yeah, go ahead. No, you came just to look. You can go. Mm. All the food from all. Another night of eating. Tonight we're checking out Hay Noodle, which I've never been to actually, and I love noodle places. Um, with a bunch of food bloggers, I guess. Um, and the food is looking good so far. I got chicken and mushroom. So I got the Szechuan beef biscuit. Noodle pull pose. <laughs> Miyok was trying on her new boots for the first time. By the way, Ty picked these dumbass looking boots. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Those are running. Oh shit. She can run faster now. <laughs> She's getting used to them. She's like, okay, I got it. I got the grip now. Let's go. Well, she's going fast, babe. Guys, I got sent this super cool photo that my friend Vanessa is in, that's her, um, that she helped curate this collection. And behind it, there were goodies hidden inside the frame. I am so excited for this, especially because I'm about to be on my period and I always crave a shit ton of chocolate on my period. Um, basically, I just had a bueno bar like two hours ago because I was craving chocolate. I'm getting my period this week, but this one has caramel cream or yeah, caramelized cream with peanuts and pretzels, which sounds delicious. I love chocolate that has ca what is it called? Peanuts in it, um, and the pretzels give it like a salty flavor. Will probably give it a salty flavor flavor, and I love like salty sweet things. I'm really excited to try it. I'm not gonna try it right now because I kind of have a stomach ache from all the chocolate I ate earlier, but I'll try this tomorrow. Happy International Women's Day, guys. I want to share with you guys some of the packages that I got from brands for this particular occasion. Um, yeah, they're fun stuff. So this one is from Converse and it talks about how, um, you know, there's a lot of progress, but girls are still being defined through antiquated terms and ideals around the world. So they gave us a blank canvas to share our message of love, unity, and community. Um, I love these platform ones, by the way, because it gives me that like little extra uh, length, or height, I mean, uh, without having to wear heels. I have these in white, too, and I really, really like them. And now I have them in pink. They gave us some cute permanent marker colors to get creative in. So let's see what I do here. I know I'm having a McDonald's pickup session today. Here's another one for International Women's Day. Let yourself bloom with the new Guerlain fragrance. So my eye has been hella fucked up lately. I don't know what's happening. I think it's from like stress and strain. Um, but this one eye feels very scratchy and dry often. 
I'm wearing my shirt inside out. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Babe, I'm wearing my shirt inside out. How did that happen? I don't know. Good move. Anyways, um, yeah, and then sometimes my vision gets blurry in this eye. So like when I do this, I'm like, oh, I can see fine. But then I do this, and I'm like, everything's freaking blurry. Um, so I'm trying to put air eye drops to see if it'll help. If not, I'll go see an optometrist um, on Monday or something like that. But okay, babe, it's time for this. Can you help me? Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. Can't look at the camera. You gotta look. Gotta lay down. I gotta lay down, babe. I gotta lay down. Okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> it always surprises me. Doing the job defensively, getting out in transition as fast as Seattle. Uh, uh, the pool on my eye now. Oh, oh. Doing game night, but also sushi. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Minted my mouth and like trying to talk at the same time to Good celebrate time. their new Pandora garden collection. I'm wearing this piece from there and then also wearing this piece. Reese has a matching piece. Yeah. <laughs> this, so this is rose gold and Reese has silver. Are you wearing the earrings yeah. as well? Ooh, I love the earrings. I'm kind of mad I didn't so get cute. the earrings. I'm mad that you and Vic got the earrings. <laughs> Uh, but there's a lot going on, so I'll show you guys what's up. Oh my god, this is so cute. Stacking. Stacking. Ooh, love it. Were you working on Focus. Okay. Guys, I am here at an in cosmetic dinner. Oh, my hair is straight and I don't know what to do. Um, we're at this restaurant called Sarah. I've never been here before, but it's really, really cute here. Um, and yeah, let me show you guys. And when you rub it out, it's actually like a nice velvety finish. Like if I touch it, it feels soft. Like it feels like velvet. Can you see it? Blended. And then when I and it dries, once it dries, it dries in about 30 seconds. And it like is okay. It's like I can yeah. I feel like it's like a velvety touch to it. It's like it's been set. And then it's matte, so you don't have to put like a powder because like it's not sticky at all. No sheen. No. We just had really good salmon over there. I forgot to film it. <laughs> Look how juicy that pork belly is. Oh my god. Okay, so I really had to leave dinner because grocery store, I mean, yeah, grocery store closed at 11. I need to go get groceries. It's like 10 o'clock right now. But obviously, I couldn't pass up dessert. So they gave me a dessert and a little to go <laughs> cup. And I'm eating it while I'm walking to the grocery store. Yeah, guys, I'm hanging out with Kiss products today. We're doing a mini little masterclass with some of the new lashes and the new uh, nails. But okay, what's really exciting is the fact that I really like their um, fake nails. They look, the designs are amazing. However, a lot of the times, most of the lines don't fit me because here, let me show you guys. Most of the lines don't fit me because they're short, and I have naturally long nail beds. So even if I shave my nail down to the shortest it can be, it still sticks out beyond this. The only ones I were able to use are like the gel ones with the pointed one. Like they're still Kiss brands, but they're called like gel or my gel fantasy, and it has a pointed tip. And that one sort of fit if I really filed my nail down. But da da da, now they have this one, which is. 100% going to fit me and the designs are amazing. I am obsessed with this. 
Here's some of the styles. Oh, I'm obsessed. I can't wait to be able to wear them. Wait, I Ooh. Ooh, food. And the new naked drama lashes. Let me take a look over here. Oh my god. Oh, I have op opulence ready. That's the one I wear in Vegas a lot. This one looks really nice. Lacy. Here are the new lashes. So, of course, that is one of my favorites. Bustier, I also really like. Opulence is the one I wear in Vegas a lot. And I don't think I've tried any of these ones. Oh, yeah, they're the new ones that I haven't tried. Cool. That's the style I'm wearing. It's super fluffy. Something that's like an everyday natural glam, I would say. And which one are you wearing? Same one. You're like so, you're like, huh. Same one. Cool. It's funny because like the same lashes can look so different yeah. on different eye shapes yeah, and on yeah. different people. Because yours yeah. look baby's first more lash. like um, more voluminous and dramatic. Yeah, than I would never say we're wearing the same. Yeah. The same ones. Yeah. So I just did my nails last night, so I didn't want to put anything on top. But Literally, I'm obsessed, and those are the next sets that I'm using the as masterpiece. soon as I get these off. Oh, hey, wow. Eric's visiting <laughs> from Ottawa, and we're having dinner at Momofuku. He's got a pork belly bun and some noodles. It's shopping time, just had dinner. Jen's looking for some stuff, I'm looking for some stuff. That bag is so cute. Oh my God, so cute. So this is what I went to the mall for. I specifically want to get these knee-high boots from Stuart Weitzman um, because I wear my knee-highs a lot and I don't really have a pair that's comfortable and that stays up like it's either that it stays up well on my leg but then it's not comfortable or it's comfortable but then it doesn't stay up on my leg so i'm like you know what it's time to take that splurge just splurge on the boot because i wear knee highs like every single day so i might as well just get something that is actually functional and will make my life easier so let's take a look okay ignore the fact that i'm in my pajama shirt right now and i look ridiculous but here's what they look like and I like that it makes my leg look really like nice and slim. It's snug around here. It like fits really, really well. Like there's no way these are falling down. It's so um, sucked in and, and not. it's not tight. It's not like uncomfortable tight or anything like that. But it's um, a nice snug feeling. It's kind of like a hug for your legs. So I don't have any concerns with them falling down. But um, I heard they stretch a bit. So I'll let you guys know if when they stretch they start to fall down or anything like that. But I'm really excited to wear them for my spring outfits because I wear knee highs a lot in the spring. So I took my boots, my new boots, to try yesterday and I tested them out and I liked them so much that I just got rid of all the other pairs of knee high boots or over the knee boots that I had. I had like three other pairs. So like I said before, it was either that I had pairs that were um, comfortable to walk in but then wouldn't stay up on the thigh or I had pairs that would stay up but then were uncomfortable to walk in. So I had like three different pairs that I would try to rotate around and I was like, you know, fuck it. That my new pair over here takes it all. It stays up and it's comfortable so I can get rid of all the rest. I'm just gonna donate those. Um, to a shelter. Hey guys, I'm checking out the new Cha Time Innovation Bar that's on Young Street. So before they only had it at Yorkdale, uh, but now they have one downtown. It's not like wealthy and young, sort of. Uh, so yeah, it's really nice in here. I'll show you guys. chicken from Hot Star. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty with the cherry blossoms in the background. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hokkaido something and black sesame. Yeah, tell it. It's my favorite mm. I don't know. <laughs> okay, judge the cakes, guys. Which one do you prefer? I like the black sesame. Yeah. <laughs> the tribe has spoken. Here's my one. And then, here we go. I'm going to show you how to shake it. 
Look at your cup. See? We're the same. <laughs> All jelly. <laughs> Yours is very pretty. I won't lie. Literally jealous. While we're trying the matcha pudding topping, and it's so good. Yum. I'm just looking outside right now. It's the last day of March, and it's snowing. That's Canada for you. So, anyways, today I have quite a lot of like chores, um, boring adult things to do. Uh, I have to. First of all, I'll edit a video because I missed last week's video because I was just really, really busy. So I have to edit a video this week and then I am going to um, clean my house Sunday. Got to clean. And thirdly, I have to prepare some boxes and bags of donation items that I'll be donating to the diabetes something. Diabetes Foundation or something. Anyways, they do like... Um, donations where they can also pick them up for you which is great um since i live without a car it's hard to you know bring all my stuff to a place to donate so we're gonna pack some boxes of clothes um shoes uh jackets makeup all that good stuff for them to take um and yeah firstly my boyfriend went to chinatown yesterday to do some errands but then he also got me a bag of buns if you guys know Asian buns, they're the best fucking kind of buns. And obviously I got the hot dog ones. Hot dog ones are my favorite. <clears throat> right there. I love hot dogs. Uh, but I also have a lot of leftovers. Last night we had bun mi boys when Jen was over. And I have leftover bun mi boys. Then I have some leftover noodles from lunch yesterday. And then I have to grocery shop today. Yeah, I got a grocery shop today. Um, and then I have some fruit tarts too. So, I don't know. What should I start with? I feel like I'm going to start with this hot dog bun. <laughs> I'm gonna start editing my video while I eat this hot dog bun. Ah, 
hot. I like to microwave mine a bit, but I think I over microwaved it. Okay, so I did a little bit of an Amazon haul and I want to show you guys what I got, mini Amazon haul. You guys watched my uh, video recently that I uploaded of like my 10 last things I bought on Amazon. Well, you should watch it if you haven't. So I got me and Ty a new toaster because my toaster is basically from the Arctic ages, or I mean ancient ages, I don't know. This is my toaster. My parents gave me this when I moved out almost 10 years ago. Can you believe that I've been moved out for almost 10 years? That's crazy. Anyways, this is a toaster they've probably had since like the 80s or 90s and it's probably a fire hazard. To be honest with you, it doesn't even toast right because you can't move this around. It's kind of stuck on one setting. So like if you want your toast to be light or if you want your toast to be brown, good fucking luck. You're only getting mid toasty. This one was highly rated on Amazon and also it has extra wide slots for, for bagels and Ty and I eat bagels a lot so um, I thought this would be a good one. Oh, there's a cancel button too. Something mine didn't have. One touch bagel, frozen and cancel buttons, wow. And then I got some ginger candies. Oh, there's two packs of these. So I have had these types of ginger candy chimes on for a while. I always rebuy them. I really like the taste and I find that whenever I get indigestion or some sort of weird stomach digestion feeling, I take one of these and it works better than a Zantac. Works better than like any medicine. I just take this and do a uh, chamomile tea and the burning indigestion stomach and ulcers, they all go away. So this is my savior. But I want to try these ones to see if they were a bit stronger. They seem to be like more they're ginger chunks rather than ginger chews. So, I don't know. I also uh, may be going on a cruise uh, in the holidays and uh, I get seasick really, really easily. Even on big cruises, I get seasick. Um, so I wanted to see if maybe ginger could help me. So I'm gonna try going on some sort of something that makes me seasick, take some ginger and see if it helps because I have very bad seasickness, but let me know if you guys have any cures for seasickness. I would love to know because I would love to be able to go on cruises again, but the past, I think three or four cruises I've been on, I get progressively more and more seasick. It's crazy. Then we have, I think this is the bowls that I ordered. Yes, bowl set. So Ty and I don't have any large bowls for things like when we eat um, soups, noodles, pho, uh, what else, salads. We only have like these like regular size bowls that fit in the palm of my hand. Oh my alarm's going off. So I needed to get some bowls that would fit what we eat. Ugh. Okay, they're not as big as pho bowls, so not as big as I'd like. They're not deep enough for pho bowls. But this is good for my salads, so oh, I'm chill with it. Maybe I'll still get some deeper ones for fun and stuff, though. I also got us some soup spoons because we don't have any of those, like, more Asian-looking soup spoons. If you're struggling with those, you know, big metal ones. 